All right, so like I said, two videos. This one will not feature the information on the reinvention lab. We don't have to worry about it. You can see sweat forming across my brow because what am I doing? I'm jumping rope and shoes. I'm not gonna jump rope so long that you guys have to watch me. Probably about five or six seconds, I'll cut it. But the most important part of it is this is 99 products. This is the brand. It's a uh, size 13 in men's, 14 and a half in women's. And uh, like I said on the previous video, one of my favorite new brands. And you guys know I buy a lot of shoes. A lot of shoes. So I won't be getting into all of those different aspects. This may become my summer sneaker. I bought some uh, community made shoes and I love those shoes. But this will become my summer sneaker. I was going to work out in these. There's no way in hell I'm working out in these. You know what I'm saying? No way. Um, but it does have a full length carbon uh, fiber plate on the inside of the insole. The shoes only cost $120. Only cost $120. It's an amazing startup brand. Um, the style itself, very reminiscent of dad shoes, right? The overlays, and it's a synthetic shoe. So it's not leather, it's a synthetic shoe but it is a light shoe for having a full carbon fiber plate on the inside and a ton of what they call energy foam. I'm gonna jump rope in these. I'm also gonna do the close-up so you guys can see them because I don't want you like, yo, do the close-up. So shut up, Chris, do the close-up. Here comes the close-up. Now with that close-up of the point from 99 products, I think you all are saying to yourself, yo, those are kind of fresh and they are and I'm making it a point to tell you that they are fresh I love the look of this shoe right so I'm going to do an on foot just to make sure you guys get a chance to see what they look like and in the process obviously I'll take off the shoes that I'm wearing I'm going to do a little bit of that on foot stuff for you and then I'm going to do some jump rope just to do some jump rope in it because I'm wearing the chalk right now, and I jump rope in this shoe most of the time at home because of the carbon fiber plate inside of it. It helps with the rebound. And it helps my legs not to get so fatigued really quickly. All right, I try to hit at least 70 uh, jumps a minute when I'm jump roping, because if you really wanna burn some weight, man, jump rope. All right, but that's the close up of the point so let's get to this on foot and i know you guys want to see me hit this jump rope real quick well no you don't i'll put it on there for like five seconds only just five seconds but i'm probably gonna be sweating like a dog anyway let's get to that on foot oh real quick i know somebody might have wanted to see me do the touch test on this it is a pu it's a pu you get some flex on that leather so it's not seriously coated with the plastic that kind of makes these difficult to wear or break in. And more important, it's hyperfused over the toe box. So there's not much of a break in for the shoe. But in particular, when I'm jump roping, I can, I can run in this as well. I can run into because that carbon fiber plates help with that. But I don't run long distances in these. But for my jump rope, they are excellent. All right, that's it, my bad. On to the on foot and a little bit of jump rope. All right, making sure we get this on foot. This is the size 13 of the point. Now, they're my shoes, so I can squeeze my foot in any way I want. I know somebody's like, yo, dude, stop stepping on the back of the shoe. I always do that because these are mine. I'm keeping them. I should hit up the company to see if I can get them to do a giveaway or something. You know, but I know these videos don't get as many views as they should. I wish they would, though, because these newer brands, these laces are crazy. These laces is just straight up premium. Straight up premium. Still the same as the original chalks. Still the same. But, oh my goodness, man. The 13 does feel, just feel better, you know. It does feel better. Looks better. I'll be able to get away with a lot more wearing these. These are definitely my dad shoe type of kicks here. 
but I'm absolutely certain you guys would like these. They feel excellent. Now, funny story on my chalks. They squeak a little bit, but that's because of the inside of the shoe. It slips a little bit more, you know, but that was the beta, the chalk. This is the real deal from the company, ready to launch, ready for you guys, if you're interested in picking up a pair, I'll put the link in the description. But let's jump rope. All right, y'all, me and my sweaty self, I'm still doing these videos just to show you guys my jump rope. Like I said, I jump rope typically in the point, the chalk that I've had for a long time. And then I picked up these two pair of the points, and this is the cream version, which I really don't think I'm gonna work out in. I'm gonna have to get another pair. I buy way too many shoes. I'm gonna have to get another pair to work out in, or I'm gonna to continue to work out in the chalk version. But this is not the beta. The chalk is the beta. So it was the first shoe that they made. Um, I wanna see how these feel in comparison to the chalk, which I love jumping rope in. Because that carbon fiber plate gives me some good impact and return. It feels great, but let's stretch. This is not my favorite jump rope. So you guys are looking at this jump rope. This is not the weighted jump rope. This is just a regular little flimsy jump rope. But as far as jumping in it, the same as always. The point is a great workout shoe. So when you sit around and you buy a pair of shoes to work out in, coming in at 120 bucks, you can't beat this shoe, man. The cushion in the no bull shoe, I rock back on the back, and nobody really lands this way. You have some people who are heel strikers, and they may land on their heel when they're running, and they may be a run heel to toe. I'm a four foot striker, so, and midfoot, and I don't run very fast anyway, but when I use these to jump rope in, they feel great. I have nothing else to say. I'm winded, been jumping rope, because I had to make sure I was in the right spot, I had to go back and look at it. I'm tired, man, if you want to get in shape, get you a weighted jump rope, this is not the weighted jump rope, right? Get you a weighted jump rope, three minutes a day, yo. Three minutes and then hit your weights, right? And when you start doing it, man, watch what happens. I've been jump rope for like 15 minutes now. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one. And the next one is coming right up because I'm gonna put on the reinventions with a 12 and a half, like no bulls, to see how they feel when I jump rope which I know they're gonna feel great. Shout out 99 Products, incredibly made shoes, I love them. Obviously if, what is it, Rose Anvil cut them open, they'd be like, ah, it's just foam and a carbon fiber plate. I like them. 120, you can't beat it. Comparable to and rivals the Zoom Vomero, the Pegasus 38, and the reason I'm bringing those up is because they're $120 shoes. They do not have a full length carbon fiber plate. You can't beat that. That's it, done. Turn it off.